Hi, I'm Greg McDowell with Mesa Fire and Medical Department. Today we want to bring you some more car seat safety tips. Today we're going to be talking about when to go from rear facing to forward facing and even on to booster seat. We want to keep our children rear facing as long as possible, but as soon as they exceed the height and weight limits on an infant carrier, we need to move them to a bigger seat. The bigger convertible car seats can go forward or rear facing and because they have a higher weight limit, we can keep our children rear facing longer. But as soon as they get outside of that weight or height limit, we need to move them to forward facing. So make sure that you check your car seat owner's manual to see what those height weight limit requirements are to make sure that they're properly seated in the vehicle and in the car seat. So when do we move from the five point harness to the booster seat? A lot of parents might feel pressure to move out of the car seat to the booster seat. Maybe your child is, is a little on the smaller side and they see that their friends when you go to school are in booster seats. Don't feel the pressure from others or just ease of use of a booster seat to move to a booster seat. A good way to test that is one, besides the height weight requirements, is if they're sitting in a booster seat and they put the seat belt behind them or they try on wriggling out of the seat, they're not yet ready to sit in a booster seat. So you wanna keep them a little longer in the forward facing five point harness. Now, what do we do when we have car seats that are expired, they've been in a crash or they're missing parts or even labels? Well, the best thing we can do is if these car seats are expired or in a crash or missing parts, let's cut the straps. We want to make sure that these car seats are no longer usable. Car seats generally expire about six years from their date of manufacture. Make sure to check the owner's manual of your car seat to see for sure when they expire or if they've been in a crash to get rid of them. By cutting the straps, we can ensure that nobody else is going to be using them and then go ahead and throw it in the garbage. Don't resell your car seats on online markets for other people to use where they don't know the history of the car seat. We don't want anyone else in danger and we want to make sure our kids are safe. Thank you so much. We hope these tips have helped you and have a great day.